no one could have fully repaired all the damage that he found in just four years. He has laid the foundations for a new, modern, successful economy of shared prosperity. And if you will renew the president's contract, you will feel it. You will feel it. Did Bill Clinton get the job done in Charlotte last night? And can President Obama close the deal tonight? Welcome to Opinion Journal Live. I'm Jason Riley, and my first guest is Deputy Editorial Page Editor Dan Henninger. Thanks for joining us. Good to be here, Jason. So, Dan, I want to ask you about what Obama's going to try and accomplish tonight. But first, let's talk about Bill, mm -hmm. <laughs> who's back. Right. Um, uh, how did it go last night? Did, what, 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 what was he trying to do, and, and did he succeed? Well, I think Bill Clinton was essentially trying to uh, accomplish what the Wizard of Oz used to accomplish. <laughs> I mean, the Wizard of Oz would sit there with this machine shooting off fireworks and deflections and all sorts of gimmickry, and the idea was don't pay any attention to the man behind the curtain. The man behind the curtain in this election is the economy as the American people are experiencing right now, and as they have for the past three years. We have 8% unemployment for the past three years. Growth in the first quarter was 1.9 percent. In the second quarter was 1.5 percent. The Congressional Budget Office is talking about the possibility of a recession next year and unemployment above 9 percent. Bill Clinton's job was to make sure voters don't think about what's going on right now. And so he took us through this 50-year history lesson of Republican and Democratic presidents. Yeah. In yeah. that clip that we just saw, in which he said no president could be expected to repair right. all the damage, yes, but it is almost nonsensical, it seems to me, for him to argue that a president who's been in office for four years and has been in, in, in establishing policies mm -hmm. doesn't have some relationship to the yeah. economy as it exists right now, yeah. which is virtually dormant. So he was trying to give Obama some cover. Here. He was trying to give him a lot of cover because he needs a lot of cover. So where does Obama take it from here uh, tonight? The ball's handed to him. Should we expect something more forward-looking or still more justification of how we got here? And no, how I think he's it, not responsible. I, I think it will be uh, more of the same. I don't think he really wants to talk about the present. He wants to talk about what he will do, as Clinton suggested, if he's given a chance to go forward. Mm -hmm. And he has this thing, what he calls the in his stump speeches, the basic bargain, which is if you play by the rules, yeah. you'll be given a chance to succeed. And I also think that we're probably going to hear him propose believe it or not, the same things he proposed the first week of his presidency, which is a support for education, subsidies education for all, is going to be a pitch for alternative energies, which is a remarkable thing at this point to still be selling. But if you look at his stump speeches, all those stump speeches are published on the White House uh, uh, website, you will see him saying essentially the same things that he said four years ago. Yeah. The other thing that I think is different between him and Clinton is Bill Clinton was gracious towards his opposition. Yeah. It is not Obama's instinct to do that. It is his mm -hmm. instinct to ridicule and vilify his opposition. And I think you're going to see a lot of mockery of uh, Romney and Ryan this evening. Speaking of Romney, what, what is his challenge here in terms of rebutting this narrative, what I would consider a false narrative, of how we got here and how the current president is not really responsible for this high unemployment and this slow economic growth? Have Romney and Ryan been able to put out a, a, a coherent alternative narrative? Well, they didn't really do it at the convention. Now, they have time. I mean, their convention was just last week. Right. And we are going to have three presidential debates in which it is going to be impossible for Mitt Romney to duck these questions because the uh, people running the debates are going to ask him specifically right. yeah. about his plans for Medicare and Paul Ryan's plans for Medicare. So he better come prepared for something, shall we say, similar to what Bill Clinton did, his own set of facts and figures. Okay, Dan, thank you for joining us. Good to be with you, Jason. It.